Leo. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Rob's Feet. I'm going to do your June 2018 monthly general reading. Those of you that are new, welcome. Thank you guys so very much for subscribing. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, Leo, please click the pink subscribe. I would very much appreciate that. So for your reading, I am using the Crystal Visions. I'll also be pulling you a Romance Angels card and also Oracle of the Unicorns. Beautiful deck. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. And as a reminder, Leo, if the reading doesn't resonate with you, please watch your other signs. Those of you that would like to get a private reading, connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, the Instant Go app. Links to everything that you guys need are right below the video in the description box. All my Leo subscribers, Spirit, Sun, Moon, and Rising, June 2018. What does Leo need to know for June 2018? Leo, all my Leo subscribers, Spirit, June 2018. I will be doing the Celtic cross spread like I always do for the monthlies. And let me um, apologize for being late with the with the monthlies. Just a lot going on, catching up on private readings. But I am going to make it up to you guys. I'm going to do love monthlies for you guys this month. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, your overall energy for the entire month of June, Queen of Cups. So you can find yourself a little bit more emotional throughout the month. But I do see you balanced. You know, you could be very focused on matters of the heart, relationships. A Scorpio Cancer Pisces could be important. You are starting out with the King of Pentacles. So, or you could be dealing with an earth sign with water in their chart, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or vice versa. With the Three of Cups, you know, this person absolutely could be a friend, a family member. You know, for some of you, you could be reuniting with this person, reconnecting with this person. You know, the Three of Cups is a very social energy. Getting out and about with your friends, your family. You could be going out and celebrating something. With the King of Pentacles, for some of you, you could have been someone that... It could have been someone that you were involved with, you know, in the past. Could have been... um working on the relationship or you're coming back together with this person for others of you this could be on the work front you know, this could be your boss this could be something pretty amazing going on on the work front you, you could be celebrating you could be celebrating something within your career for some of you this could be your energy And there's this water sign person, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, that's around you that's important. But I really feel like, you know, you are coming through as the Queen of Cups. And the Earth sign is most likely the one that's important. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, right at the start of the month. And for some of you, again, you know, this is a friend. And for others, you're reuniting with this person. In your foundation, you have the star. So you're keeping the faith. It's also a healing energy. This could be a friendship or a relationship that has been 
going through some kind of healing process. For others of you, this could have been a wish come true that came in for you. It could have it could be on you know, financial, also the sign of Aquarius. This earth sign could have Aquarius in their chart. And in the recent past, you have the Page of Swords. So news or information came to you in the recent past. It could have something to do with an Aquarius or it had something to do with this earth sign. Or for some of you, it could have been on the financial front. Some of you could have found something out or received some very truthful communication or information that was given to you. And with the Seven of Cups crowning you, now some of you might have to make a decision or, or make a choice, needing to see something for what it really is. With this crowning you, you know, and it could be an earth sign person or an air sign person, a friend that you're interested in. This could be a situation involving three people because you do have a couple threes in the spread. And the Seven of Cups is about having many options. For those of you that are single, you may have a, a, a lot of romantic interests, an air sign, an earth sign, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, that are important to you, really needing to narrow it down and pick one, needing to make a choice, some decisions here. And I think you will do that because the second half of the month, you have the Queen of Swords. So you definitely more serious around the second half of the month. Some of you, this could be your energy. You could be, you know, going from the Queen of Cups to the Queen of Swords. And she's more, you know, of a serious energy, very focused and determined. Also someone that is all about the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. You could be trying to find something out, looking for answers and clarity. You could be speaking your truth. Some of you could be, you know, definitely taking that sword and making a cut here. You know, you were probably indecisive at the beginning of the month. In the second half of the month, you could definitely be making a cut. Finally narrowing it down. A decision. You, you know, you could be cutting yourself free in some way. And others of you, this could be an air sign person that's important. Aquarius does come through the strongest. But this, you know, could also be a Libra or a Gemini. This could also be an attorney, someone that works within the legal system. You know, this could be important for some of you because in the position of how you see yourself, you do have the Six of Swords. This is you moving forward. Some of you are moving toward peace of mind. You you probably most definitely now see something clearly or you found out the truth. And this is you moving on from turbulent times to much more calmer times, peaceful times. For others of you, this could be physical travel. With the Queen of Swords, you could be signing something here. Some of you could definitely be moving to a new home this month. In your environment, how other people are viewing you, you have the Knight of Pentacles. So you could be moving forward very slowly and cautiously. I feel like some of you are being very careful. You're, you're planning out the details, the steps. You know, when it comes to, when it comes to you moving forward or this move this could also represent an offer or opportunity that has come to you some of you might have a lot of options a lot of offers on the table 
definitely needing to make it, make some decisions, narrowing it down, and in your hopes and fears, <coughs> so sorry, excuse me, you do have the Three of Swords in your hopes and fears. So you're, you, you know, you're fearing things not working out. Yes, this could be some sort of loss or heartache. Again, you know, you could be involved in a situation involving three people. You know, you could be hoping that someone makes a decision when it comes to this. But you're leaving the month with the energy of the Ten of Pentacles. You know, this is abundance, success, security, stability, financially in a wonderful place, financially... You know, a wonderful month. You know, you start out with the with the king and you end with the ten. So some of you have a lot of opportunities this month. Decisions are definitely needed. And I really do see those decisions being made. The Ten of Pentacles can also represent an inheritance, assets, property. That's important. Some of you are could definitely be moving to a new home. You know, in the beginning of the month, I think things are a little confusing. You're, you're trying to figure things out. In the second half of the month, you, you're just very focused and determined and making progress by the end of the month, you know, beginning of um, Ju July. You're physically moving. Not a bad month at all. You know, with the Knight of Pentacles. You know, things are definitely moving slowly. But not a bad month at all. But let me, um, let me clarify, really, just the Seven of Cups for you. Make sure, let's see. I'm using the Distant Past to clarify. Pentacles. Nice, the chariot. One more. Wow, the eight of cups. Okay. So, you know, the two of pentacles, some of you definitely do need to make a decision. Clarifying the seven of cups. The two of pentacles. Definitely needing to make a decision. You're going back and forth, weighing your options. Trying to make a decision. With the Eight of Cups, you're definitely moving forward. And the Chariot, you're also moving forward. This is, this is the ultimate victory and success card with the Chariot. So if you were... confused looking at all these options you're absolutely going to move forward and be successful when it comes to this with the eight of cups here for some of you you're emotionally moving forward you're leaving something behind you know even with the queen of swords you're you're making some kind of decision you're 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 making that cut you know you're you're freeing yourself and being very successful. You know, with the Queen of Cups, you know, definitely listen to your intuition. Definitely. Follow your heart. Definitely moving forward. 
Let me get you an Oracle card for additional guidance for Leo. Additional guidance for Leo for June 2018. Additional guidance for Leo. Okay, well, nice. You guys are absolutely moving forward. The Romance Angels. Love and Relationship for Leo. June 2018. What does Leo need to know for Love and Relationships? Rebirth. You're absolutely moving forward. You could be creating a new reality for yourself, for some of you. You could be reinventing yourself. This is needing to give life to your dreams. Some of you could be rising up from difficulties. You know, this is rebirth for you. The Six of Swords, things are improving for you. You're moving forward mentally, emotionally, leaving the difficulties and the challenges behind. You're moving towards new beginnings, really beautiful. And you really are making that cut and freeing yourself from this three-party situation. It's time to take back control of your life. You are, you're literally reinventing yourself, moving past the difficulties, the confusion, very, very nice, Leo. Love it. I hope the reading helps you guys out for the month. You know, if it didn't resonate, you know, again, look at, look at your other signs. Um, I will see you guys back here for the Love Monthlies. Until then, Leo, have a great month, and I'll see you here soon. Take care. Bye-bye.